Hi, and welcome back. Today I'm going to be talking about a John Doe case, and that case is the Exmo body in the bag. So, in March 2002, a decomposed body was found on land near Winsford Hill on Exmo National Park, which is in Somerset. I'll include a picture of the area where the body was found. The man's body was discovered in a black plastic bag wrapped in a green single bed sheet and a single duvet cover. The man was also found with a pair of Adidas shorts, a 22 carat gold pendant with a quote from the Quran, and a white pillowcase. This pillowcase was apparently one that would be commonly hired for restaurants and hotels in the area. So, I don't know if they ever found out who could have hired it. According to an inquest, the man was found to have been dead for around two years before they found him. And the state of the body suggested that he'd been stored somewhere for a couple of years before being dumped on the moor. So he was either killed between late 1999 and early 2000. Forensic investigation suggests that the man was between 26 and 36 years when he died and substances in his bones, like isotopes, etc, suggest that he had lived in the southwest of England for around 10 years before his death, possibly in Bristol, Poole, Plymouth and Bude. I think I'm saying that right. Viewed. Apparently it's in Cornwall. So the isotope testing showed that he'd lived in those places. The chain that he was found with was found to have been made in Pakistan. I don't know how they found that, but it probably had like a mark on it where it was made. According to a 2006 article, um, the man was believed to have been an illegal immigrant from the Indian subcontinent it says. I'm not sure how they figured that out since they still do not know who he is but that is like a theory that they have that he was probably an illegal immigrant. Now despite having DNA profiles and hair samples and skin samples etc they still they still don't know who this man is they don't know who killed him and uh, it's been 17 years since he was found and they're sadly still no closer to find out who he is. They also made a reconstruction of his face out of clay and some of it like reconstructions of his face. Here's the clay one. In 2017 the police appealed for more information and Avon and Somerset Police Detective Pete Frake said, we have carried out exhaustive inquiries over the years, tracing hundreds of reported missing people and following up leads from members of the public. But frustratingly, the identity of this man is still unknown. We have full DNA profile, so cutting edge forensic techniques have been used, and we have sought input from leading scientific experts in the UK and Europe. Establishing the man's identity is the key to unlocking this case. We need to let his family know what happened to him and ensure the person or people involved in his death and the gruesome deposition of his body on Exmoor are brought to justice. And that is what the police said in 2017. As I said before, it's been 17 years and still the police are not close to find out who he is. He has, he has been given a Muslim bur burial in 2004, I believe. So he's been laid to rest. They assumed he was Muslim. If you have any information regarding the identity of this man, or if you knew someone in any of the areas I mentioned previously in the southwest where they believed he might have lived, do come forward to the police. This man went missing either in late 1999 or early 2000. 
if you have any information, do contact the Avon and Somerset Police. Like, someone always knows something. Someone out there knows who this man is. And all John and Jane does deserve to have their identities given back to them. And so their families know that they sadly died. I can only hope that at some point in the future they will find out what happened to this man and why he was dumped. Anyway, thank you for watching. I hope the information in this video is fully correct because for some reason Google was limiting the search results. It's never done that before but it limited the search results and it was only showing me ones from 2017 so luckily I realised what it was doing and I was able to look back at ones from 2004 and 2006 but it was limiting the results so hopefully I've got all the information correct and I haven't missed anything I'm sorry I ever have anyway thank you for watching I just thought I'd like to cover a John Doe case bye